In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the multifunction switch on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. Disconnect the battery. You want to disconnect the negative side terminal. Use an eight millimeter wrench. Loosen that up. Take that off, set it aside. We're going to move the steering column down. Just adjust the lever down and step on the brake. We'll turn the key on and shift all the way down to first gear. You don't have to have the battery connected. And just grab under here. Make sure your foot is still on the brake so the truck doesn't roll. Slide this out. Then I'm gonna shift it back to park and turn the key off. Take this side panel off. This pulls right out. It's just a couple push pins. Remove these screws underneath using a seven millimeter socket. Grab the panel and just pull it straight back. You can see where there's some fasteners that hold it in. I'm just gonna tip the steering wheel up a little bit and grab the adjuster and pull it towards the outside of the vehicle. It comes right out. You have to use a good amount of force. If you need to, you can use a prying tool, pry it out. There's two screws under here. Use a T25 socket, take those two screws out. Grab this panel, slides right down. Pull that off. Out of the way, there's some hooks. So you gotta go forward a little bit and then slide it down. There's a screw going up right here. You can use an E6 socket. That's what you're meant to use. But if you don't have one, you can also use a four millimeter deep socket. Line that up. Take that screw out. You can see it's a inverted Torx screw so four millimeter works just fine and take the top and just slide that off out of the way we're going to remove this cover there's four nuts holding it on use a 10 millimeter socket take those nuts off slides right off. Cut these wire ties, just use some side cutters. Be careful not to cut any of the wires. So we'll just slide those out of the way. These are the wires we need. Right there, you can see where there's a screw. I'm gonna use a seven millimeter socket. Loosen that up. There's another wire tie right here. Just cut that off. Slide that out a pocket screwdriver, just get under here. You wanna know, just lift up on the tab and then this piece slides forward. Same with the other one. Right in here and it slides forward. 
just like that, separate that. So that connector is going to stay. You can follow back these wires over here. There's a connector over here. You disconnect the connector. There is a little lock tab, so I'm just going to push it with the screwdriver. Push it back. That just pops out. See, that's a little lock. Push down on the tab. Just push that connector back. Slide that connector over, just like that. If you see above the shifter, there's a little connector right there. You want to disconnect that. I'm just going to use a right angle pick. Just get under the lock tab and try to pull that connector out. There we go. Take this screw out right here. You're going to use a T25 socket. Slide that out. Now you're going to have to turn the key in the on position, rotate the steering wheel. So that we can access this screw down here and turn the key back off. Using a T25 socket, take this screw out. Pull that out. Now grab the multifunction switch, slide it up, and just slide it out. And it comes right out. Take the new one, slide the wiring harness the same way it came out. And then watch out for this pin a little bit. You can put a little lubrication on the pin, a little bit of grease. Have it tipped back a little bit, and then forward, and you want to push it down. Take that top bolt, get that started. Before you tighten that down, get this bolt lined up. You might have to make some adjustments. in. Tighten this one down. Just snug. And the top one. And that's snug. Different applications. These wires might be closer. So for our vehicle, we're going to have to just cut the tape right here. Just use a some type of a utility knife, cut back on the tape. We can retape it after we cut the wire out. That's good right there. So we'll just use a little electrical tape. Just wrap it around a couple times. That's good. Careful to not cut the wires. That's good. Now we can run these wires where they need to go. This green one's going to go up top and plug in on the other side of the harness. 
and line this up. Lock it down. That's good. Now this connector is going to go over the steering column in the back. You want to plug that into the connector right here. There we go. Got that in. Take the lock, line that up from the back side, and lock it in. It's locked in place. I'll take these connectors, they only go in one way. Lock that in place, and then the gray one is going to go on the other side. It's locked down. Line this up. Take your seven millimeter socket and snug this down. That's good. Use some wire ties and wherever it was tied off before reposition those and secure the wires you can trim the excess take the shield Line that up. Get the nut started. Just tighten this one down. Make sure you didn't pinch any of the wires. And put the other nuts on. Tighten those down. Slide this cover in position. Take this screw and slide that in position. Let's see, that's gonna go right there. You can tighten that down. That's snug. Good. Take the bottom one, slide it back. Slide it in place. Click it in place. Where the shifter boot is, just pull this. You can use a pick or do it by hand, just make sure it's in the right location. It's just like a grommet. And that's good, all the way around. And the screws underneath, get those lined up. Snug that down. And snug that one down. Line this lower panel up. Lock it down, take that screw, get that lined up, tighten that down, 
Put that screw in there. Snug that down. Take the panel, line it up, lock it down. Take the column adjuster lever, line that up, push it down. Turn the key in the on position and shift the vehicle down. Make sure your foot is on the brake. Take this cover, slide it over. Get it, get it all lined up. Push the bottom in first and the top all the way on. Shift in the park, turn the key off. Take the negative terminal, line that up, get that started. Snug that down, give it a wiggle, make sure it's not loose. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.